So let's talk a little bit first about Workers Imagined. So Workers Imagined is, is really what we think that people do or what we might expect that people do. And it's characterized by three or four different assumptions. So one assumption is um, about the nature of work itself, right? So when you imagine what other people do or when other people such as myself imagine what you do, um, we imagine uh, a simplified and partial version of what you do. We, we have a kind of sanitized and simplified imagination um, of work. We imagine that people work according to prescribed rules or procedures. Um, then we think about the system conditions or the conditions under which we work. And we imagine that resources are usually more optimal than they are. We imagine that competency, things like uh, our staffing levels, uh, the state of the equipment and procedures are more optimal than they actually are. Um, we imagine that demand is more predictable than it is. When, when we think about people, we often imagine uh, that people are a cause of trouble in an otherwise safe system, right? So we imagine people add a source of unwanted kind of variability. And then when we imagine outcomes, we imagine that normal work and uh, accidents or major events are really completely different. When we think about work as done, if we revisit those assumptions, then we actually find that work is really very messy. It's characterized by lots of trade-offs and compromises, lots of variability in order to get the job done. Uh, our goals are often uh, conflicting with each other. Um, so. Work has done differs on every one of these assumptions. If we think about system conditions, then we know that um, that procedures and um, staffing levels and so on are often suboptimal. Competency levels may vary. Um, and then when we come to people, well, when it comes to work has done, because you cannot prescribe human work in the way that we imagine, people actually create safety in an otherwise unsafe system. So. Our views about work um, as imagined and views about work as done are not really compatible, but the important thing is what's actually done. Now, if we just have a look at this Venn diagram, we can see that there is some overlap between work as imagined and work as done. Uh, they're not completely different things. Uh, some of what we do is what we imagine, is what, is what other people imagine, is what our, our bosses and what the general public and the media and so on think that we do but very much of it is not. And work is imagined is not just one thing, right? Because with our imagination of human work, what we do is we, we uh, make procedures and regulations and rules and so on. So we essentially uh, prescribe human work. But that prescription of human work is not exactly the same as what people think it is, because we can never have a full knowledge of procedures. In a major air traffic control tower, for instance, uh, in, in my business, there may be a thousand pages of procedures plus tens of temporary operating procedures. And then we have work as espoused. Now, work as espoused is actually what we say happens. It's how we talk about work, which is quite different to how we actually do work. It's also different to how work is written down. And sometimes it's different to what we really believe. What's important about this diagram is that there are many gaps, right? There are many areas where there, are, there is no overlap. You can see that there's a big area of work has done, which is neither prescribed nor really imagined by anyone else, nor is it really talked about. Now, this is, uh, this is a, a, a possible area of risk, risk to safety, risk to security, risk to reputation, credibility. Where we have other gaps in this diagram where there's not an overlap, there's a risk to confidence, public confidence, to um, trust, and so on. It's not as simple as that, though, actually, because the way that work is done is usually very, very safe. And if we worked according to procedures, things wouldn't be so safe. And so we protect with some secrecy the way that we work. We don't like to tell everybody about the way that we work for very good reasons, because if we do that, um, some of our resources may be taken away from us. Some of our safety buffers, some of our margins will be taken away. So we keep the way that we work something of a secret for good reason, because the way that we work actually works, and the way that people think that we work doesn't work and can't work. <laughs> 